We've been wearing barefoot minimalist shoes for years now. And today we're gonna give you our opinion on why or why not to wear them, which brands to consider, and stick around until the end of the video because we're gonna give away two free pairs. So if you're new to this conversation, why even consider wearing a minimalist shoe? Well, first, let's take a look at what most modern shoes have become. They're comfort machines. They've got big old heels, tons of support and comfort, and these narrow toes at the end. And wearing these a bunch leaves the stiff and weak feet over time. Now the minimalist shoe allows us to get much closer to our natural barefoot state, allowing our feet to work as they were designed to. The elements of a minimalist shoe are wide toe box, you can feel the ground because there's not much cushion, there's no raised heel, and they're usually light and flexible. Now the irony of this is that if you have weaker inflexible feet, the modern day shoe will feel much better in the short term, but they'll only make you weaker and stiffer over time. Now a more minimal shoe will be more uncomfortable up front, but will lead to healthier feet over time. So before we get into reviewing different brands of minimalist shoes, let's talk dosage. How much should you wear your minimalist shoes? The mistake people make is they hear about barefoot shoes and they think, wow, that really makes sense. And then they go out and run 10 miles in their new shoes. And they end up with some type of injury, which leads them to believe that the barefoot shoes are bad. There needs to be a transition phase. You should give your feet time to adapt to being barefoot more often. A good goal is to spend a majority of your day-to-day -day tasks being either barefoot or in a minimalist shoe. Now there will be some time when a bit of padding is probably good for you. Things like running and jumping on concrete is not so natural for us as human beings. So don't go too extreme and start running around on pavement barefoot right in the beginning. Listen to your body and let that guide you. For me personally, what really helped to strengthen my feet and ankles was for about two or three years, every single strength training or mobility session that I had, I did it barefoot. Your feet get a bunch of different stimulus from your workouts and the result is strong and healthy feet. So over the last couple of years, we've tried a ton of minimalist shoes. I probably got a little bit too carried away, but I was doing research for this video. Spoiler alert, they're all pretty good. But my hope is that this information will help guide you into finding what shoe might work best for you. First, let's talk about Zero, a US company. So there's two things that I really like about Zero shoes. Number one is that they have a lot of variety. For example, this is the Prio, which is a nice minimalist barefoot shoe, but it also has a good amount of support and it's has kind of more substance to it, which can be nice if you're doing something like running. Versus this shoe, the HFS, which is almost the opposite. It's really light, it's really flexible, and you don't really feel like you have much on your foot. The Forza Trainer is a really nice shoe that looks good and feels good in the gym. And the shoes I've been wearing most recently are the Winter Boots from Zero. These guys are waterproof, and I've tried some other barefoot boots, and these are definitely the best. Ooh. The best, I like that. So the other thing I really like about Zero is that they're pretty affordable. For instance, this shoe right here is $89.99. In the world of barefoot shoes, things get pretty expensive. So big up to Zero for keeping their shoes accessible for everyone. Another big positive for Zero, if you live in the US, their shipping is cheap and it comes really quick. You can get these shoes within like a few days. Is there any negatives to the Zeros? I'd say the only drawback to Zeros is I don't think they've kept up with the modern trends of what normal shoes look like. So they don't look that cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to put it nicely. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I love the Zero shoes, but they really look like a minimalist shoe. Whereas some of the other brands, maybe they don't. You're gonna see this next brand coming up has put a lot of time into the aesthetics of the shoe and it looking more modern. Now, my guess is that Zero isn't putting as much money into the design of the shoe and that allows them to keep them more inexpensive and that's really nice. So that brings us to Vivo Barefoot. Now, right off the bat, you can see these are some cool looking shoes. I personally grew up liking Nikes, Jordans, and some of the minimalist shoes just don't always look as cool, but these, man, look at these. These are nice 
nice looking. And if you buy a pair of Vivos, the first thing you'll notice is they're super minimal. You feel every little rock you step on with these guys. That can be a positive or a negative depending on what your preference is. And not only is it a real barefoot feel, but the shoes are so light, they're so flexible, like you don't feel like you have much on your foot. It's like wearing a thicker sock almost. So for me, I actually think of the Vivos almost more like my dress shoes. There's something I'm gonna wear to socialize in, to go out in public, but because there's not so much material, I actually wear through these pretty quickly if I'm gonna wear them to hike or train in, so I often opt not to. Now Vivos are a bit more expensive. For instance, this shoe is over $200. They are a European-based company, so if you're in Europe, then you'll probably get these a little bit quicker. If you're in the US, then shipping's gonna cost more and it's gonna take yeah. longer to get here. So Zero and Vivo are probably the most popular minimalist shoe. They're both great shoes, and it really just depends on your lifestyle and what you're valuing. But let's move on to a lesser known company that has become one of our favorites. Lemmy's. Next up, we've got Lems, a US company. They're actually in Boulder, Colorado, where we are right now. Now this shoe right here is called the Lems Primal 2. And this has become maybe our favorite shoe. The reason I like this shoe so much is because it's a barefoot minimalist shoe. The top is very, very lightweight and flexible, but the bottom, the sole, it has a bit more substance to it. It's also really, grippy and we like it because if we're doing something with more impact say running or jumping this still feels really comfortable but you're still getting all those benefits of a minimalist shoe now what i think lems has done a really good job of recently is making their designs very simple so they're a bit inconspicuous like you wouldn't know it's a barefoot shoe it just kind of looks like a normal shoe they're not super over designed either they look good but not flashy i really like these boots as well they're called the boulder boot they're leather they're waterproof and if you're looking for something that you can actually wear outside on a winter night that looks good these are money so the only caveat to limbs is that they're not all super minimalist shoes i would really stick to the the primal two if you're gonna to go that way this is the zen primal which is another good option but it actually has a bit of a heel on it and it's not as minimalist as some of these other shoes that we've been showing now the limbs are kind of in the price range between vivo and zero but let's get to some really inexpensive shoes these shoes are called feyus and they're only $30. Now, Feyus were originally designed to be a martial arts shoe and were actually designed to wear inside on mats. They're a super flexible, minimalist shoe that's actually canvas. Now, they do have some padding on the bottom, which you might want if you're doing some martial arts. And these shoes have become really, really popular in the movement community. Now, what I love about these shoes is for only 30 bucks, I really don't mind going out and training hard in them, wearing through them, putting holes in them. Yeah, I've gone through like 10 of these shoes and they also look pretty cool. It's a simple design, almost looks like a Converse Chuck Taylor. The biggest drawback for me is they don't have a wide toe box. So if I wear them for too long, because I've worn so many minimalist shoes, my pinky toe actually starts to feel really uncomfortable. These weren't really designed with the like modern minimalist shoe specs, but I think the, the price reflects that. They're only $30, so they're super accessible for anyone. Another weird thing about Feyus is that there's tons of different companies that sell this style of shoe. You don't really know like which brand to actually go with, what kind of quality you're going to get. But once again, it's 30 bucks. Yeah, I even got a pair one time that came with the word ninja on the side instead of Feyu. <laughs> <laughs> and in just a minute, we're gonna get to giving away free pair of Feyus. So those are the four big shoe companies that we've explored and worn the most, but we wanna give some quick shout outs to some other shoes that we haven't spent as much time with, but we still think are good brands that you might wanna explore. Merrill's a company that's known for outdoor equipment, but they actually make a decent minimal shoe. The Merrill Vapor is pretty inexpensive and is super minimal. You really feel every single rock. The only downside in my opinion is they don't have a wide toe box. I really I really like the ultras, especially for running purposes. Now, if you look, it's super wide. It's also 
pretty flat, but it has a good amount of cushion if you're doing some trail running on rocks or something like that. I actually wear these shoes to hike in, especially when I was going through my ankle injury. Now, Strike Movement is another brand that makes a shoe kind of similar in that it's a lot stiffer. I do parkour in this shoe, which makes me feel better about taking impact on hard surfaces, but it still has a wide-ish toe box and the heel lift is very minimal. It's a good shoe, I like it. Now, amongst our friend group, this next one is a bit controversial. The barefoot sandal, also known as the Jesus sandal, is actually the closest you can get to being barefoot, but also some people think they look silly. <laughs> and I think that's a fair assessment. <laughs> I actually really like them and I wear them out in public and I'll even do backpacking trips in them. And I make him sit at his own table when we go out to eat. <laughs> so the three best brands for minimalist sandals are, these are Earth Runners. They probably look the best. I really like the brand Shama and Zero makes some really inexpensive ones. And there's one more shoe that I think we have to mention that <laughs> I personally don't have because I think they look so nerdy, but it's the Vibram Five Finger shoes we could post a picture right here I personally can't speak to these because I haven't worn them but they are kind of like a classic in the barefoot like these were one of the first ones that came on the scene and these might have been everyone's first impression of minimalist shoes if you're a Vibram five finger lover leave a comment in the comment section and tell everyone why you love them free shoe giveaway. So we're giving away two free pairs of shoes. Number one is this pair of Feyus. This specific pair of Feyus right here is a size 45 or an 11, 11 and a half in US sizes. So make sure that you only enter to win these if that's your size. The second pair is a Forza trainer from Zero because we've been really liking these recently. This can be any size that you are. We're gonna order them straight to your house. So the way that you enter to win is you go down below, you post a comment on this video video, which shoes you want and why. Then you're gonna head over to our Instagram. You're gonna find the photo that is the thumbnail of this video. And then you're gonna put that same comment onto that photo. I apologize if you don't have Instagram, but this is the easiest way for us to be able to contact you to send these off. Now, if you have the extra money to buy some of these shoes, support one of these companies that we've talked about today. If you're on a budget, you don't have the extra cash to buy one of these minimalist shoes, enter to win, I wanna see you win it. Comment below what your favorite minimalist shoes are and especially if you think we missed any. Which one is your pick? Like the video, see you in the next one.